Bloomberg's emphasis on health in all strategies has improved the health of New Yorkers. Researchers are reviewing three-year legislation by Mayor Michael Bloomberg, focusing on health policies related to air pollution, nutrition, exercise, and smoking cessation date May 2, 2018. Source May 2, 2018. Summary of Columbia University School of Public Health from 2002 to 2013. New York City introduced a series of strategies that prioritize health care in areas that go beyond traditional health policies, illustrating the potential for reducing cardiovascular disease risk of Bloomberg Ethics Focus on. Health in all policies has improved the health of New Yorkers. Researchers study the legislation in three terms of Mayor Michael Bloomberg, focusing on health policies related to air pollution, diet, exercise, and smoking cessation. Science Daily. Researchers at the School of Public Health Columbia University Postman followed New York City health legislation from 1998 to 2017 and found that 7.4% of 3,745 laws enacted under the Bloomberg administration could affect the health of New Yorkers with cardiovascular disease. The Bloomberg Epic's emphasis on health in all policies has improved the health of New York's cardiovascular population. Researchers are reviewing the three-month review of Mayor Michael Bloomberg's legislation, focusing on health policies related to air pollution, diet, exercise, and smoking cessation. Researchers have cataloged the health laws in New York City from 1998 to 2017 and found that 7.4% of 3,745 laws enacted under the Bloomberg administration could affect the health of New Yorkers with cardiovascular disease. Between 2002 and 2013, New York City introduced a number of strategies that prioritize health care in areas that go beyond traditional health policies and demonstrated the potential to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Over the past 15 years, local, regional, and national governments have become increasingly aware of the need for a health in all policies approach to improve the well-being of all communities and individuals, said Brennan Rose Bratton, MP, graduate student in social medicine at Mailman School. Co-authors include Lori Fingerhead of Rutgers University, Ryan Demmer of the Mailman School of Public Health in the University of Minnesota, and Gina Lavasi of Drexel University. Our results illustrate the potential of a health in all policies approach in which a city whether it's legislative changes, taxes or innovative health promotion campaigns can make a difference, said Jay Demmer, letter carrier of Columbia University School of Public Health. From Columbia University School of Public Health letter carrier, this is the first comprehensive study of New York City legislation in terms of its possible impact on citizens' health, Rhodes Radden said. On March 23, 2016, researchers already calculated what health benefits would be if cities were designed to keep stores, facilities, workplaces and public transportation within walking distance of most residents.